Hi Mooncakes! If you're new with the champion, you're at the best place you could be. I will show you guys how to play Aphelios in a true way. We have 5 weapons, and every different weapon has its unique power. And you're able to hold 2 weapons in at one time. Every weapon's ability that you cast will trigger your secondary weapon. So, I made the best weapon order that has the best dual weapons and the follow-up for triple weapon combos. We will talk about them. Now, let's start with the order. Most important things are your build, runes and weapon order. I will start with the weapon order. This is your main weapon order. To come to this point, you need to waste weapon like this. When you're at the end of the cycle, you will use the weapon you had in your hand before. It goes like this all game long. I will not only talk about weapons, I will explain weapon door strengths and weaknesses and how you should use them. Calibrem is a sniper rifle. You have the longest range, it's same as Caitlyn's range. Your ability will mark the enemy. When you use your mark, it will cast your secondary weapon. Gravitum is the utility cannon. Your auto attack will slow and your ability bruise the enemy. This is the only weapon that doesn't trigger the secondary weapon, but you can cast if their multiple targets are marked to root multiple people. Inferno! Oh, Inferno is the area of effect, wave clear, damage flamethrower. Your ability is the short range flame that can hit multiple enemies. It will trigger your secondary for multiple targets. Your auto attacks are also area of effect. Neverum is the lifesteal and mobility dagger. Your auto attacks will have extra sustain. Your ability gives you movement speed and attacking the enemies, meanwhile you are moving. It triggers your secondary weapon, meanwhile you're moving and hitting them. Rishenum is the close range shuriken. The closer you get to the enemy, the more attack speed you will have. You can get more chakram stacks by using your other weapon or using your ultimate. You have to hit the enemy to refresh the stacks. They will disappear if you don't hit that enemy. Your ability leaves a sentry to the ground. It will have the secondary weapon that you have in your hands. Before I explain the duos and combos, let's talk about the ultimates. Pelibrum ultimate will leave mark on the enemies that you will hit. It will trigger the secondary weapon again. If you have a multiple people marked, other marks will follow the target that you will choose for the extra damage. Gravitum ultimate will just leave mark on the enemies. You can root all of the targets that you hit. Infernum ultimate will do area damage. Each enemy you hit will get an infernum auto attack from a loon, and those each auto attack will land for AoE damage. If they are close to each other, damage will multiply. Severum ultimate will lifesteal instantly, more enemies you hit, more health or extended shield. Crescendum ultimate will give you crescendum stats. First target gives you 5 stats, but extra ones are only plus 1. In our specific weapon order, 
we have specific duos. After you fix your rotation, you will always have the same duos. Between level 1 and 5, you will have the one-time duos. I will explain them at the end. Let's start with the order duos. There are two main duos in this order. This is one of them. This is the strongest close range and the longest range duos. Most efficient way to use Crescendum ammo is here. When you use your sentry, it will have Calibrum on it. Every auto attack will mark the enemy. With every single mark, you will auto attack them again and it will give you one Crescendum stack. This auto attack might crit, triggers PTA and triggers Kraken passive too. Just by using your sentry will kill the enemy sometimes. If the enemy gets hit by marks, they should die. Because you will also have Calibrum in your hand. After getting to one or two marks from sentry, you can cast your Calibrum Q, mark, auto attack and we have our ultimate next. It will do an ultimate damage, mark land and another auto attack. The thing is placing your sentry in the right place with the right movement. Please walk back after you leave your sentry and the enemies will always sleep and walk into it. Or you can leave your sentry to the bushes that enemies won't see. You can always set this up before dragon or bear. They will just walk and instantly die after 2 or 3 marks. And the other way to play this though is close range. You can either use your crescendo ultimate and flash into the enemy or you can leave your sentry and kite back and the moment the enemy engage comes close to you, just walk into them and the fight will start when they already have lower HP and you have extra stacks to finish them. These duos have the longest arms like an octopus, but on the basic side, you can use your Calorum Q to get ground marks on the enemies and root them. It will help your jungler or support the engaging fights. Or you can root the enemy with gravity first and get Calorum Q, it's a guaranteed hit. This is really simple, but when ultimate comes online, this is what makes it broken. There is a combo we call octopus combo. You use your Calorum Q and ultimate at the same time. When your Calibrum 2 and Ultimate lands, you can get the Calibrum mark before the mark from Ultimate lands, and you can get your second Calibrum mark from the Ultimate after this happens. This will one-shot people who are below 60% of you when you are equal. If you're on the lead, just one-shot the entire health. Very long distance. I call these two midfield combos. Imagine you are very lazy, but have super weapons in your hand. You're very immobile and will stand still when you do the combos. Please walk with gravity almost always. You will start everything with the Gravitum except multiple target Infernum Q and root them for your team engage. Other than that, we always start with purple. First, auto attack and root them. Another auto attack with Infernum and Infernum Q. They will just stand still and watch you doing 50% of their health in 2 seconds with PTA. If you think you can kill them, you can follow up with the ultimate and auto attack again. Very good way of first thing, but remember, after you use your combo, you only have your short range auto attacks. So, it's really good for quick trades or finishing them. At late game, try to waste gravity. This is the other main dose in the order. It is very balanced and has almost everything. Mobility, lifesteal, AoE, damage, shield. Both triggers each other. But about the combo, try to start with Infernum Q. Because if you start with Severum Q, you will have the wait until Severum Q animation is over. In some close fights, you will need to do the damage in the quickest way before they kill you. But of course, in rare situations, you can start with Severum to catch them or kite Electra. Your ultimate can be survival, but will be most likely Infernum ultimate for the next damage. You can even one-shot 5 people in a second. Also, don't forget the broken shield from overheal, bloodthirster and Severum for extra shield. And yes, when you are at max health, Severum will give you extra shield too. This is the most simple but also broken duo. Just use your Severum Q to get stacks and auto attack them in close range with Crescendo. But do not forget to walk them between every auto attack. Only focus how can I get stacks and how to get closer to them. Q also have ultimate to even have more stacks. Try not to use your sentry on this one, it makes a very small difference and you will use your Crescendo sentry on Calibrum Crescendo duos. 
It's very important there, so do not try to waste ammo with several sentry. Only auto attacks. But some people can dash away or flash away to ruin your plans. Like Caitlyn. She will E away and slow you and maybe finish you. This is broken if you manage to stick to the enemy like a disgusting bug. Being level 1 and 3, you will have a Calibrum and Severum. You can auto attack them with Calibrum auto attacks with long range for trades. Try to start with Severum Q and whenever you get your mark, just walk back. Your mark range is very long and by walking back enemies won't be able to hit you back. The moment you use your mark, swap your weapon to Calibrum and use your Q. You won't expect it because you're walking back and it will do amazing damage to get around PTA. When you have low ammo with Severum, you will have a combo that we call Perfect Execution. After you mark them with Severum, it will send a Gravitum mark to them because your new weapons after wasting Severum are Calibrum and Gravitum. After finding perfect geometry and no minions are on the way, root them and use your Calibrum Q. Because of the root, it will hit Guarantee and there is another free mark with free auto. They lose their entire health in these very early levels and some people call Aphelios early is weak. Between level 4 and 6, you will have Crescendum and Infernum. This is the moment you will destroy them 1v2. The more enemy minions on your way equals more stacks. More stacks equals easier data. So if they are pushing, use your Infernum Q to minions and get as many stacks as possible. You can flash in and kill them. If the Inferno ammo was low, you can even get more stacks with Severum. But be careful, because sometimes you won't have that much time to set up. Risky, but very useful combo. Extra important notes! Always auto attack before ability. Don't miss your marks. Use the secret builds and runes. And subscribe to Rose. Yeah, so fair.